Welcome. In this episode, I'm going to explain why I created my Let's Fix It Right YouTube channel. As a retired Army officer, aerospace engineer, and program manager, I've always had a passion for woodworking, building things, and fixing things around the house. Such as building this patio with the help of my two sons. And upgrading our bathroom with this granite. Both of these patio and granite improvements are featured episodes on my YouTube channel. After recently retiring from demanding careers in the Army and the aerospace industry, I now have time to build videos so I can share my experiences and lessons learned with you. I'm all about helping you fix it right the first time to save money. This means that you will not have to hire expensive contractors, rebuild your projects, spend additional money buying your material and hardware again, and waste a lot of time. Worst of all, I don't want you to go down the road to failure, get discouraged, and quit. In addition, if you have a great project that you want to post on my YouTube channel, email me some pictures and a brief description of it. If it qualifies for the Let's Fix It Right standards to help others, I'll interview you over the phone as a guest do-it-yourselfer, produce a high-quality video, and post it on my Let's Fix It Right channel. For the year following this posting, I'll share 50% of the potential YouTube benefits with you. My father was a master craftsman. While he established the gold standard for me to pursue, I'll never come close to being as good as he was. As you can see, he did a truly outstanding job designing and making this grandfather clock. An avid Colorado trout fisherman, my dad carved these wooden fish and replicated their scales and gills with his own screen printing. When I was a boy, my father gave me lots of hands-on instruction while I helped him complete several major upgrades to our home shown here. These included converting our garage to a family room, building the fireplace with the chimney shown on the left, installing shake shingles, adding a stucco exterior, building a heated garage and sophisticated workshop in the backyard, rewiring our house and garage, and building an adjoining covered patio. Our home was originally built with a three foot cellar crawl space. In the evenings and on weekends, my dad dug out a seven foot deep basement, poured new walls with a reinforced concrete foundation, and built a bedroom for my sister. Bucket by bucket, he removed the dirt and mixed and poured the concrete by hand. I took two years of woodworking and two years of mechanical drawing in junior high and high school in Inglewood, Colorado. My dad insisted that I take full loads of math and science. However, during my final semester in high school, I snuck in a metal shop class without my dad knowing so I could learn oxyacetylene gas and arc welding. In addition, during one of my summer breaks from school, I worked on a frame carpentry crew and helped build two houses. Consequently, I've never been reluctant to tackle new or big projects. After high school, I entered the Army as an enlisted man. Little did I know I was going to spend 27 years in the Army on active duty with access to the Army's outstanding wood shops when I wasn't deployed or leading tactical operations in the field. Similar to this shop, all of these Army shops had top-of-the-line woodworking machines and tools. I started on offense and defense for two years on my high school football team, so I quickly adapted to the rigors of the Army's basic training. At the conclusion of our pugil stick bayonet training, our 500-man battalion conducted a fight-off with the best from each company. My commander, an Army Special Forces captain and infantry officer with the Silver Star, that he earned in combat during the Vietnam War, selected me to represent our company. Accustomed to contact sports, I dominated our battalion competition and won. The next morning after reviewing my test scores and my basic training performance, my commander called me into his office and nominated me for the Army's West Point Prep School. Seven months later, while I was a student at the Army's Vietnamese Language School, orders came down transferring me to the prep school. Later that fall, I received this award for being voted the most valuable defensive player on the prep school's football team. While my prep school was conducted at Fort Belvoir, Virginia, this is a picture of the new prep school built on the grounds of West Point. The service academies like athletes with good grades and high SAT scores, so I earned an appointment to West Point. After four demanding years, 
I graduated with an engineering degree with an area of concentration in civil engineering. Following West Point, I earned a Ranger tab from the Army's grueling Ranger School. As Winter Rangers, we had to contend with the elements 24-7, rugged terrain, bitter cold river crossings, little sleep, and minimal food. I then served as an infantry officer in the Army's 4th and 25th Infantry Divisions. In the 25th, I became good friends with the Hawaiian civilian who ran the Army Air Force Woodshop on Wheeler Air Force Base in Hawaii, which I understand is now Wheeler Army Airfield. The woodshop was located behind the left hangar in this photo. It was similarly equipped to the Luke Air Force Base woodshop shown on the right. I helped the civilian manager in the shop a lot to include teaching woodworking. So he gave me a set of keys to enable me to use the woodshop anytime. Seizing this opportunity, I made a complete set of living room furniture and a butcher block kitchen table and chairs. With a highly successful track record as a commander and tours in infantry and combat aviation battalions, the Army selected me for fully funded graduate school in aerospace engineering at Texas A&M University to prepare me for follow-on Army Aviation Program Manager positions. This advanced degree helped me as a certified Department of Defense acquisition official and experienced Army aviator qualified in the UH-60A Black Hawk to manage the design and engineering flight testing of the Army's new UH-60L produced by Sikorsky and General Electric to ensure this aircraft met the Army's airworthiness requirements. In 1989, after obtaining Pentagon and Army Materiel Command approvals, I also managed the initial fielding of the UH-60L. Today, this outstanding aircraft is still an important workhorse in Army aviation. In addition, several of our international allies rely on similar versions of this Black Hawk. I retired from the Army and worked for more than 20 years for Boeing Defense in St. Louis, Missouri in support of Army, Navy, Air Force, and Marine Corps programs. As a business development manager, I developed the storyboards and authored the scripts of several aircraft marketing videos that we featured at our trade shows and distributed to our military customer. My best one featured the Boeing U.S. Navy F-18 Super Hornets automated maintenance environment. While developing these films, I got to know some of Boeing's outstanding film producers in the graphics department who showed me the ropes on how to make a video's complex and highly technical material straightforward and easy to understand. In support of my YouTube channel, I have more than 55 years of practical experience fixing it right, dating back to my dad's coaching and my teenage woodworking experience. Combining this with my engineering expertise and filmmaking know-how, I have learned how to develop and communicate efficient and easy to understand videos that will empower you to fix it right the first time you attempt a project. With this said, all of my videos will explain what we are doing and why it is good. In addition, I will identify how long the projects will take, the tools and material that you will need, and my lessons learned. My current releases include these videos, six on building a large patio, and two on upgrading to granite in your bathroom. As you can see, I've added episode numbers to my thumbnails for easy tracking and referencing. My summer 2020 releases will contain episodes on installing container store closet shelves and hardware in a clothes closet and in a laundry room, as well as installing a large five drawer basket system inside a kitchen cabinet. In addition, these releases will address installing a Pfister faucet cartridge, Allen and Roth pop-up drain components, and a bathroom fan replacement. They will also cover making your scratch stainless steel kitchen sink look brand new again and making an ergonomic computer workstation. At this time I have plans for more than 100 additional videos. In late 2020 or early 2021 I plan to provide a multi-part series on finishing a basement to include building a bar with brick tiles and a laminate top which looks like granite and completing these other basement upgrades. If you have any subject matter requests or recommendations, please contact me. All of this said, I recommend that you subscribe to my channel, follow my projects, and save a bundle of money doing it. At this time, I'm moving on to our next project. You're more than welcome to follow.